Hey beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dabo and I know it's been a while but I'm back. Um, I had to take a little break because I was getting my camera repaired and also I just wanted like a small little social media break. So you know, I can get back into my creative space and juices so now I'm back with a new video and it's something you know that I really enjoy um, watching and I thought I'll bring it to you guys drugstore tutorials so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here featuring all drugstore products or drugstore price products so I know schools opening up soon and everybody want to be snatched everybody want to slay nobody's coming to play I remember when I was in college and high school and all that first day of school I had to be slayed baby so I wanted to bring an affordable easy way to do your makeup on the first day of school that's just gonna slay for the guys and it's gonna last all day so if you're interested in how I got this look and just you know how to finish your face keep on watching all right guys so the first thing I'm actually gonna start off with is my brows and today I'm going to be using the BH cosmetic dual brow pencil right here so um, I'm gonna start with using this angled side first and just create my line <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and use this side and just roll it around. Next, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics um, Dark Brown Brow Gel and I'm just going to sweep up my brows and lock it into place before I apply my concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Concealer in the shade Deep 70 just to highlight my brows. And I'm using this angled brush from um, Coastal Sense. For this, I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my brows. Now I'm gonna use this uh, concealer brush from Coastal Sense and just blend that concealer out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tad bit of concealer. And I'm going to use this vegan brush from the Cosmetics. This is the V5 brush. And just blend that in. As you can see, I'm going in circular motions. I'm not necessarily spreading the product, but allowing the product to sink into my skin by just going in circular motions. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow and come right back. Alright guys, so now that I've done my brows, I'm going to go ahead and add some concealer onto my eyelids. And I'm going to be using the same ColourPop concealer. And just applying some of that on my eyelids as the base for our eyeshadow. I'm going to be going back with that same Coastal Scent brush, concealer brush that is, and just dabbing this in. So when um, I find this concealer with the concealer brush, make sure that you're dabbing in instead of dragging so that the product can sink into your skin. I didn't put too much concealer because I can always go back with a second layer. You don't want to put too much concealer and make it thick because you want it to sink into the skin. I'm going to give it a few seconds to dry down. In the meantime, I want to let you guys know the palette we're going to be using today it is the After Dark Palette by Bad Habit um, off of Shop Hush. So this palette I believe cost me about $9 to $12, I forgot, but um, it's a really good palette. This is the inside right here. I love it because it's so warm. It's actually like a dupe to um, Huda's Beauty's um, mini palettes. I forget the exact name of that palette, but it's a dupe and it's really, really pigmented. The first color we're going to be using is this color right here, and it is called Arousal. So I'm just going to take that and apply it right in my crease area. 
So right now I'm just dabbing this in. Next, I'm going to use this color right here called Cheeky. It's like an orange color. And apply that right above the arousal color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use this color Crush on Fire using the same brush actually and just set that together. Now I'm gonna go in with this color Merlot. It's like a wine color and just apply that. Now I'm gonna go in with this concealer brush and using the same tinsel I've been using and just cut my crease. So for this, to get a pop and cut crease, you're just dabbing. Make sure that you have enough product in your brush so that it doesn't come out patchy. So well, as you can see, like cutting the crease is actually not that hard. I learned this style actually from um, the P. Louise channel and also Kiki Nose. She used a, like a MAC brush, but I'm using a Coastal Scent brush. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna wait for it to dry down. And then I'm gonna use this color right here. It's like a bare nude color. It's called Skin to Skin. And just apply that in the area that I cut my crease in. Pat it down just like I patted it down the concealer. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this color again, arousal, and just put it in the outer area. Then I'm gonna use the Merlot color and just put that right in between the two. Next I'm going to be using this NYX glitter, the Liquid Crystal Glitters in the shade Crystal Silk. And I'm just going to apply that right in the area I cut my crease. Just to add a little pop and a little glam. So that's basically it for this eye so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye and then we're gonna come back. All right guys, so now that I've done my eyes, I'm gonna go on to my face. And today I'm going to be using the next Can't Stop, One Stop new foundation in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley here on YouTube. And I actually got, um, the foundation and primer as a gift from influencers so thank you influencer in case you wanted to see the primer this right here is the primer this right here is the texture the primer reminds me of becca's ever matte primer it has the same texture same feel Next, I'm going to use the foundation in the color F25. This is their darker shade, and this is Deep Ebony right here. I'm going to be using a brush for this. Wow, it dries down pretty fast. With this, you gotta move fast, girl. It dries down really fast. I feel like this foundation is really nice. I'm loving it. Um, I do kind of feel like it's a little it's a little warm, but I definitely can make it work. Honestly, like wow. I don't feel like there's anything on my face. Like <laughs> it's crazy. Um I know there was people complaining saying that like their skin feels so dry, but honestly, I moisturized before I put this on and I have oily skin, so I made sure that everything was intact before applying this foundation on and Right now, honestly, like, it's good. Right now, I can't complain. Wow. Okay, I have to show you guys this. I have to show you guys this. So I have henna on my hands, and I applied the foundation, and that's just one layer. Can you see how my henna is, like, covered? That's crazy. So that should tell you guys how much coverage it gives. Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. This is the ColourPop concealer that I used for my eyes before. So I'm going 
going to allow this to sit for about a minute and then I'm gonna come back and blend the whole thing in. When doing this, make sure that you're dabbing your concealer in instead of spreading because you don't want to over highlight your face. Sometimes that can happen, but just dab, you don't drag. Dab, don't drag. <laughs> so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the bottom of my um, blending sponge and just dab the edges of the concealer just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and demarcation of the concealer and foundation. So now that everything is pretty much in place and I feel blended, don't feel patchy, I feel like everything is in the right places. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, and today I'm going to be using Milani's Translucent Medium to Deep. This setting powder right here. This powder is like a dupe to um, Laura Mercier's Medium to Deep powder. It's a really good powder. So I'm going to use this to set my concealed areas. As you can see, it is a really soft setting powder. So now that I've set my concealed areas, I'm actually going to go ahead and contour. And today I'm going to be using Coastal Scents Deep Roast. Here. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it to contour because the color is so rich and beautiful. Oftentimes it can be really hard to find a nice contour color for us dark skin ladies. So finding a popping eyeshadow can honestly do the trick. To contour, I'm using this angled brush by Coastal Scents. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use this Black Radiance Press Powder. I'm going to apply this all over my face. Next, I'm going to go back to my eyes and use a white liner. Honestly, I prefer like a beige liner because that goes really well with my skin, but I don't have that right now. So I'm going to use a white liner and I'm going to line my waterline. So this liner was actually only a dollar. I bought it at Dollar Tree and it is uh, Rimmel London's Pure White Liner. Guys, if you have a Dollar Tree nearby, we'll be having some deals over there, so check it out because sometimes I get like e.l.f. products there, Wet n Wild, and sometimes I run into brands like from London, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use this color Cheeky right here and apply it right beneath the Murdoch color. To top off this look, I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my Black Radiance Raspberry Blush right here. Guys, this was actually the first blush I ever used and I'm so in love with this blush. I really like blush because um, I feel like it adds dimensions to the face, especially when you're dark. It adds elements. Sometimes contour can be you know, a tricky thing for us, sometimes it's not dark enough. So adding some blush definitely creates elements in the face. Next I'm gonna highlight my face using this uh, highlighter by L'Oreal. This is the Lumi Shimmerista in the shade Sunlight. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips using this lip liner from ColourPop in the shade Pitch. This is a nice brown color for any lip color that you want to apply onto your lips. Now, I'm going to use um, this Netta Lip Gloss color from ColourPop, and this is actually the lip gloss LRA created. And it's a beautiful nude lip gloss color for dark skin girls. So that is it. Um, to finalize everything, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes that I got off Ally, and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look. As you can see, I'm really loving it. It's glam, but yet, Subtle. Um, to set my makeup in, I forgot to mention that I use BH Cosmetics 
setting spray right here. This retails for about six, seven dollars on the site, but guys, it does a wonderful job. I personally like this setting spray more than I even like higher brand setting sprays. It locks my makeup in for the whole day, and I really don't have to worry about getting too oily or just my makeup breaking down so I definitely would recommend the setting spray um, all the products that I mentioned today like I said a drugstore or drugstore prices um I'm gonna list down everything I used in the video that is really it for this video I hope you guys have a wonderful first day of school um, I feel like following this routine or just incorporating some of these products then they keep your makeup intact so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what are some of your favorite drugstore items. Thank you guys again for watching. See you in my next video.